This is Ian Ashpole. He works at the Radcliffe Meteorological Station in Oxford, the oldest weather station in the UK. He monitors the weather. This morning, he's measuring the temperature, the wind and the rain. Ian takes these measurements every day. First, he checks the thermometers in this white box. They measure the maximum and minimum temperature of the day. There's usually a barometer too. This measures the atmospheric pressure. Ian always writes these measurements in his notebook. Ian also checks the rainwater levels. It isn't raining today, so there isn't any water. This large machine is for measuring wind. The device on the left is called an anemometer. It measures the wind speed. It isn't very windy today. The device on the right is a wind vane. It shows the direction the wind is blowing in. Today, the wind is blowing in a northeasterly direction. Oxford is in the southeast of the United Kingdom, so it's warm and dry. But the weather in the UK is very varied, and different parts of Britain have different climates. The west is quite wet. Clouds from the Atlantic Ocean move across the country and drop most of their rain on the hills and mountains in the west. This means that it rains a lot in places like Belfast, the capital city of Northern Ireland. In Belfast, it rains on average 150 days per year. Today, it isn't raining, but it's very cloudy. In the north, it's quite cold. Scotland is colder than the rest of the UK. On average, snow or sleet falls in Scotland on 52 days a year. Today, it's snowing quite heavily here. In the south, the climate is quite warm and sunny. It's a great place to grow crops and fruit. The UK has a moderate climate, but the weather is always changing. So Ian's job never gets boring. <laughs>